Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl, and today is Craftsmas Season 4, Episode 7, and I have a fun one for you. So, I decided I wanted to make a gamer sign because it really didn't feel like there was a whole lot for the gamer generation, for that type of group, and I know that for the gamers in my household, they love anything that's lit. And I had an idea to take one of the menu boards. Now, if you go to a restaurant, you know how they, you go in and they have all of the specials written on those backlit black light signs to turn one of those into a gamer sign. So, this is listed in my Amazon storefront and I have a special store storefront list that has all of the craftsmas items and I add them to it as we play episodes so this is in there and I used the specialty materials transparent glitters for this in the shades yellow green hollow silver gold and aqua and then I also used regular matte black because I wanted my outlines to stand out so you could tell that this was a game controller because those outlines were tiny. But if you wanna see how I made this, oh, and the SVG is available on my Patreon page for my Patreon supporters. But if you wanna see how I made this, then stay tuned. So I designed this where you could use the outline or you don't have to. I decided to go ahead and do this because I did want to have nice, crisp, dark lines in between because I wanted to make sure there was a nice distinction so you could make sure you could tell that this was a controller because, you know, if you got off when you were lining this up, I wanted to make sure the lines were nice and thick and crisp because of using the transparent glitter it can get a little bit fuzzy now you could decide to paint this if you wanted to i decided not to because painting on glass you can use different types of paint but to do so many colors it can get a little bit tedious so i decided to go ahead and just use the transparent glitters and i went through and tested out a lot of different colors to see which ones I wanted to use and which one worked best to look the brightest on there for the black light. Now, one of the things I'm going ahead and showing you is I got one of the letters stuck to the vinyl and I'm showing that you can take and peel that off of there and fix it back down. You just kind of got to have a little bit of patience you just don't panic and stick it back down when you panic and stretch stuff out that's whenever you can have a whole lot of issues so just go slow and stick things back down you can have more issues than not whenever you have a little bit of time and slow down that's typically where problems tend to arise. So that's my little hint, but yeah. And there are some little tiny little pieces. So it does take a little bit longer to weed this, especially cause this is a transparent glitter and it is a little on the thicker side. So what I typically do whenever I send this to cut, because as I said, this is a thicker vinyl, is I use the heat transfer setting whenever I'm using the Cricut. Um, and I will typically use the more to have it cut a little bit deeper. And whenever I'm using the Silhouette, I will have it set to go about a five. So as I said, I like to have it cut nice and deep because it is a thicker vinyl, but it does absolutely beautiful. And you will see whenever I am taking and going to apply this because I had some issues um, where my camera, the battery died and I didn't realize it. and 
so you don't see me applying the text, so you don't see me cleaning the whole thing when I'm cleaning the glass. I do use the 99% isopropyl alcohol. I order that off of Amazon. That is in my vinyl essentials uh, list. I have all of my tools that I order off of Amazon and all of the transparent glitters are available at heattransfervinyl.com um, which is they carry all of specialty materials products which is great you know finding someone that does carry all of their products is awesome but heattransfervinyl.com carries all of Specialty Materials Vinyls, which is absolutely amazing. Finding someone that carries everything like I used to is great. So, as you can see, we are weeding the yellow-green. I love this color. So, here we go. And one of the things I did do is I turned off the light or some of the lights so that way you can kind of see what I'm doing and we do have our registration marks so that way you can see where we're applying it and I did do them from top and bottom so that way we didn't have to cut everything all in one piece but and we save a little bit on vinyl because you know trying to save a little bit of because buying on my vinyl trying to save a little bit now, one thing you will see, if you see anything dark under the vinyl, those are the little air bubbles. Don't worry, those will work themselves out. Or you can take and apply a little bit of heat to it as well, which that's another little bit of a tip or trick. It's funny because as soon as you start to apply it, you can see how it glows. Isn't it so pretty? I love how it looks love 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 how it looks how it came out love how it, it just really really looks good and again you will see how sometimes things don't go perfect for me it's not it just as easy as one two three for this it's not an exact science sometimes I make mistakes like with this green outline when I go to do it I didn't line it up perfectly so I have to go back and put it on by hand and I have issues too just like everybody else you know and I have my hands are shaky that y'all know this I don't have perfection anymore but one of the things I do is I go back and I do things slowly and there are ways to fix things and that's one thing you can do is if it doesn't turn out right you can fix it you don't always have to go back and recut it you can fix it and I don't think people always know that that they can go back and fix things they always think well I have to change it. I have to pull it all off and start all over. No, you don't always have to pull it all off. You don't always have to start over. You can sometimes salvage a product or a project. It's not always I have to start again. So that is something I like to show people is that you can sometimes save it and one of the things whenever I did the, the, this black layer I had I'm putting a piece of parchment down so it's a little bit easier to see because it's very with that black background it's a little bit harder to see so want to make sure things are lined up correctly so I added parchment paper because the parchment paper is a lot more transparent but I always like to show people that you know and mistakes happen no matter what skill level you're at no matter how long you've been doing it 
and that's part of it. Parchment paper can be definitely be your friend when it comes to things. But, and adding extra transfer tape, and this is specialty materials transfer tape, I love this transfer tape, but adding extra to the top of it to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room also is a handy tip. So that way I can hold that black layer in place and then line up the green layer. So that way the green layer stays in place whenever I remove the black layer. But I still didn't have it lined up exactly perfectly because the black light underneath isn't bright enough to see through all those layers of paper. Cause see, I stuck it down and I did not mean to. So see, I broke that outline, but it's okay. So I removed the little center button and I just place that by hand in the center. on both sides so and then squeegee them down and that outline around it I had moved so it wasn't centered perfectly so now I'm going to put the black outline as you can see and the black outline is really what's going to make the biggest difference. And I'm going to take and move that green line because I can take and place that perfectly. But as you can see, that black outline is one of the things that makes the biggest difference for a lot of this is that black outline because it makes things look perfect even if they're not outlines can definitely make or break a project so if you're <laughs> my fuzzy hair um, if you're not happy with how a project looks a lot of times so say you're doing a vinyl project and things don't look exactly how you want it to um, say you're off by a hair in a certain direction and you can out an outline. An outline can fix a project a lot of times. Um, so that's something you can think about. It really can. So that's just a tip. Outlines really can. But that's something I definitely always try to think about and remember especially when doing stuff like this that's super complicated and outlines also give you a little bit of wiggle room for if you're not perfect with it um, because like this the background is it definitely makes it harder to line up certain things so I always try to remember that that having an outline definitely will make it where you can see to make it where you have a little bit of extra so now I'm going to add that last green outline. And again, I can take and work it around so that way I can get it exactly where it needs to go. And you won't ever be able to tell that it didn't go smoothly to begin with. And that's part of the thing I love about vinyl is when you've had a long time to play with it, it can be, and you've learned things about it, you can figure out that it can be more forgiving than what you think. Um, vinyl becomes more permanent the longer that it has time to sit. Even if it's permanent adhesive, the longer it has sat and had time to bond with the surface below it, that's when it really starts to become more permanent. So, if it's only sat for a couple of seconds, it hasn't had time for that adhesive to really bond yet. So you have time to play with it. But now when I say that, 
if you sit there and move it and stretch it, you have to be very gentle with it. You can't just like pick it up and pull on it because you're going to stretch it. You'll break it. But if you have time to sit there and, you know, if you're very gentle with it, you can move it around and have a chance to sit there and I'm taking alcohol and cleaning off the leftover adhesive from where the registration marks were. But you do have a little bit of wiggle room and time to play with it. Look how cool that looks though. Isn't that awesome? That's what it looks like done. I love how it came out. I think it just looks absolutely awesome. But hopefully you like this video and you can figure out that vinyl is definitely more than you think it is. But hopefully you like this video. We will be doing a live for tomorrow's video at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I will see y'all then. It'll be a scrap box video. And I guess that's it. And we'll see y'all later.